The war in Ukraine is affecting all aspects of life, including sport. But the Football League, suspended after the invasion, Ukrainian club Shakhtar Donetsk have begun a series of charity games they're calling the Global Tour for Peace. Their first matches took them to Greece and Poland, and today they're playing in Turkey. The games aim to raise money for Ukraine's military and help people displaced by the war. Hardly a moment goes by when Mykola Matvienko isn't thinking about the war back home in Ukraine. Even here on the training field in the Turkish city of Istanbul. In your heart, you want to stay there and help all of your people. But your brain seems to tell you that, in fact, you can't do anything. And the only thing you know how to do that can help the country is playing football. Matvienko and Shakhtar Donetsk have had to run from bombs before. In 2014, fighting between government forces and pro-Russian separatists broke out in eastern Ukraine. Shakhtar Stadium, the Donbas Arena, was badly damaged by shelling. As a young boy, I often went to the Donbass Arena, and it was my biggest dream to play at this wonderful stadium for Shakhtar Donetsk. But then the war started and we left. Since then, Shakhtar has led a nomadic existence. They first fled to western Ukraine, then east again to Kharkiv. Eventually, the capital Kyiv became their new home. That's where Mykola Matvienko was when the Russian invasion began on February 24th. Even today, I can't believe that this has happened. I felt so worried because I didn't know what to do. And that hasn't changed. You feel so empty because you realize that your people are suffering. It's very hard. Now Shakhtar is on the move again. Although Ukrainian men of military age are currently required to stay in the country, Mykola and his teammates were given special government permission to leave in early April. Here in Istanbul, they are now preparing for a series of friendlies all over Europe to raise awareness and money for the war effort in Ukraine. The first friendly match was in Greece against Olympiakos. What unites us as a team is more than football. We share a common tragedy. In the game against Olympiakos, we wore T-shirts with the names of the cities that were attacked by the Russian army. The whole world should know the names of these cities. Even the people who don't know about it yet, or who don't want to believe what's really happening. This is a war and not some kind of special operation. I've always dreamed of living in Ukraine, and I believe that it's still possible. I hope that peace will soon return to my country, then football will return, and we'll be able to continue what we did before. Mykola Matvienko doesn't know when that might be. He currently doesn't even know where his team will be training next month. But he says he won't give up on his big dream, to play football again one day, back home in Ukraine, in the Donbass arena.